Hey, Richard. Hey, a moment of silence, please, for our newly departed. Another one bit of dust. Okay. This water heater has lived a good life, about 16 years in service. And now it's done? Right. So this is the standard tank in America, a gas-fired tank-type water heater. And, you know, people forget that it is merely a glass-lined steel tank. You don't like the whole steel and water well, together. sooner or later, water can get to the steel and it'll rust. And so you can see indicators here that it leaked at the flue passageway here, uh, right here. So, but, I but other than this, I mean, to most people, this looks like it's fine. Right, and most people just ignore it, and then all of a sudden they wake up in the morning and there's no hot water and there's water in the basement, and so because they'll never proact to replacing it before the fact. Okay? okay. But I thought we would do a little autopsy on this one. You're going to open it up? Yeah. A live cutaway. Why not? Why? Absolutely, why not? Get your gear on. I'm, I'm down for that. We always come into the cutaways already done. All right. I have a diamond blade. Good thing the patient was dead, Richard, otherwise you would have killed it. I think those saws would kill him. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got in there. Oh my goodness, look at, so <laughs> this is the anode rod. You see this right here? This is the thing that saves this tank from, from rot. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. And this is sacrificial. Once this goes, everything aggressive goes after the tank. And then, oh, look at right here. All rotted right here with the weld with, uh, right here at the bottom of this. So this is the hot water out, and the weld must have let go because it's coming right through there. And then indirectly made that. Is it as bad as you expected? Well, it's it's kind of typical. You can see this was once this shiny glazed surface, and now you can see it's pit corroded. Each one of these places is where crazing in the enamel let go, and it caused pit corrosion right there. And sooner or later, it just goes... And as I look on the bottom, I mean, I'm looking at chunks of this tank and right. all the built-up minerals right. and stuff. This right. is potable water. It's potable water with a little bit of rust. Whew. What, what's the lesson? The lesson is expect 10 or 12 years out of these tanks if you can do it. If the anode rod got changed, you could probably get 20 years, but nobody ever does it. Right. Uh, looking at that water at the bottom, you understand that anytime you heat water, any sediment wants to drop to the bottom. So I would drain water out with some regularity. Don't go crazy, but just sort of try to get the, keep the sediment off the bottom. Yeah. And then with these things, uh, obviously beauty is only skin deep. It's this nasty is beautiful. in there, <laughs> yeah, except for in there. Cool. I love that. That was fun, actually. I love that, Dr. Trithui. <laughs> Very nice. I thought the lesson was going to be use a six-inch grinder instead of a four-inch <laughs> grinder. <laughs> that too. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.